I'm Angela. I've had asthma since I was a really young kid. I was diagnosed when I was a child and don't remember that because I'm 42 and it's just always been something that I've lived with that I've had awareness of. Um, but it wasn't really until I was in my early 30s that I started to really consider what triggers my asthma and how it can change and how I can really um, manage my, my own triggers. So my biggest triggers are mold, cats, and I also have uh, cold weather induced asthma. So if I'm doing any type of activity outside or I'm exposed to cold weather for a long time, uh, that will be a trigger for me. So it really honestly took me a long time to catch on that these were my triggers. And I think sometime, maybe in my mid 20s, um, I had a mold exposure and I started getting really sick. I realized I was always wheezing. And um, then after that, I realized anytime I smelled mold or mildew, walking into someone's basement where it has that little bit of funk, I would start wheezing right away. And that really clued me in that I that was something I had to start paying attention to. And then I realized that cats would do the same thing and cold weather did the same thing. I'm a runner and that was when I experienced my first uh, asthma attack. Um, I was in my early 30s and finished a 5K in October. It was Halloween and that helped me to realize that this was a condition that needs to be managed and that I can have control over my environment and my triggers to really address what I'm experiencing. Something I've heard is that triggers are different for everyone. Those are my personal triggers that I've learned about over time. But it's important to talk to your doctor and learn about what your potential triggers might be, get to know them, look at what's in your environment and see what might be causing your asthma to flare up.